Hi, before we start, I'd like to share with you the circle of success of a masterful engineer. What we like to do is to aim big. And that's why we aim at these five important points. So number one, to have a positive mindset and personal development. Number two, attract customers via Google reviews. Number three, do a first rate job by following the masterful engineer ethics. Number four, retain customers for repeat business. And number five, gain referrals from existing customers. So that's it. Now, on with the show. Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and today's boiler is a Worcester Green Star 30 I Compact SI Compact. And what it is, um, the customers call us out saying it's making a noise when it fires up. So I'm just going to show what it is and you can listen to the, the sound. You may be able to hear it. It sounds like a washing machine going. If you listen carefully there, I'm running in hot water mode at the moment. So basically, we've got a blockage. On this, normally it's a block condensed trap. So I'm just going to show you the technique how to take the trap out. That's the emphasis of this video. Also, I'm just going to explain how you get the cover off because on these boilers on the compact ones they're not really straightforward for changing removing the cover so I'll just go through that with you as well. Power's turned off. So what you got underneath the boiler, you got that green tab there one on the other side. So we're going to take the screws out first each side and then we're going to pull these tabs down after the screws are removed. So I'm going to pull that down like that and the other one like that. So leave them there and then we're going to see if we can actually pull out the bottom and do that wrong. Pop the bottom like that and then it drops down. So the technique was these down, pull out the bottom end first towards you just gently and then it, it lowers down like this because it's quite easy to break these. I've seen them broken on a lot of boilers. Then you've just got these screws there and one there and then on the top of the bar you've got these clips there and one on the other side there and then you lift them clips up and then it'll slide off the whole front. Now for this particular video we're not going to take the front off because this is the condensed trap and there is some sort of blockage because I can hear the washing machine type noise. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this over, put a carry bag across here to cover it, protect the PCB and electrics because the design of this isn't the best really because you've got the pipe here which this is going to more or less turn out like a hinge towards you this way and then you can get the trap out once you remove this pipe. On this compact boiler, it does what it says on the tin, it's very compact. So this is the pipe, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pull that section out the bottom and see if any water runs down. I've got a little bowl below it, and let's see what happens. So you can hear it running. You can see all the water moving there. So it is. It's flushing out. It's like a siphon. So 
So it is going out the trap at the moment. You can see the water level dropping down. So that's got rid of some of that water in the trap. So the fact that it discharged down, you can see some more moving there. So there's definitely some sort of a blockage. So it's by just carefully moving this pipe at the bottom outwards towards you, just gently you don't want loads of water coming out on you so I've pulled it out there so it's out now there it is so the next thing I can do now that's out there I'm gonna basically twist this towards me but as I said I'm gonna cover this over first I'm getting it on this side here and pull it from this corner towards me like this and then it's come down off that connection there and then we can take the trap out like this so I'm just going to bring it over to the sink Leave there a minute. I'm checking in the sump here. There's nothing majorly blocked there. So that's okay. That looks okay. So, as I said before, the water did come siphon out the trap in the pipe. So that must be clear. Otherwise, that wouldn't have went down that pipe. I'm just going to check the operation of the trap itself. So, let's put some work in here. Filling it up. It's not coming out the best. So, let's just see if there's something wrong with that pipe itself. We'll take the pipe off the trap. See if the block is there. I put this hose pipe on there you can see it's on the condensed outlet pipe and I'm going to blow down it to see if it's clear and that seems clear to me no resistance so that's okay make sure you put silicon around that o-ring because then the trap will go nice and easy we're putting the trap back now so we offer that up so we have it like a like a 90 degree angle towards the boiler but slightly off it should go up it's got a angle it right until you get so it's gone up now you can see it's tight to the boiler and then just turn it in like a hinge like that and then we've just got to bend the rubber bit that little pipe so it goes a bit fiddle it towards the condensed pipe what I shown before when I blew down the pipe so that's back in now so that's tight up there and then that's in the outlet pipe so we'll give it a try that's how it performs right so i've been running the boiler for a bit in hot water and heating and it seems a lot quieter now anyway you've seen how to get the trap off the technique how to get the trap off the, the measures you need to take when covering the pcb and how to get that pipe off so that's basically on this particular video now if you're looking for boiler repair training you can click on the link below and you can find out more about our bar repair accelerated training course so if you're a new engineer gas portfolio engineer 
uninstaller, this is right up your street. So that's going to be it from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.